Hello, it's Lolly. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to share with you my Brazilian blowout aftercare routine. If you want to know more about it, please keep on watching. Before we jump into the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Click also the bell button beside it so you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. So if you like my contents, please hit the subscribe button. So just a disclaimer guys, you can use this hair care routine even if you don't do Brazilian blowout. It's also good to follow if your hair is damaged and bleached like mine. So without further ado, let's go to the video. So after three days of leaving the Brazilian blowout treatment in your hair, it's time to wash your hair. You have to use products that will not build up on your hair and scalp. So it's always best to look for products with no silicone, no paraben, and no sulfate. So for this video, we're going to be using some hair products from the brand Mori. So we have here the shampoo and its conditioner. Mori does not only qualify for those three criteria, it also has seven 77 minerals, 5 vitamins, and 18 amino acids. Step number one, you have to wash the excess oil out. It's always best to use a shampoo that is mild. So just apply a small amount of this shampoo on your palm and concentrate on your scalp. Don't forget your nape area because there are a lot of oil also hiding underneath. Make sure guys to concentrate only on your scalp and not on your hair shaft because shampoo can make your hair dry. It is made to clean your hair and not to moisturize it. Especially if you have bleached and damaged hair, you'll notice that after washing, it's gonna be squeaky clean and it's a little bit dry. Which is why step number two is to use a conditioner. To return the moisture on your hair, you have to use a conditioner that doesn't have any silicone. Silicone is actually a very common ingredient found in conditioners because it makes your hair silky and soft in the outside. The only problem is silicone builds up on your hair and it creates a shield which means you can't get nutrients inside the hair. So it looks good outside but inside it's not healthy. Mori conditioner is not just silicone free, it's also paraben free. I usually shampoo my hair two to three times a week but I condition it every day. If you see that your scalp area is getting oily, then it's time for you to shampoo again. Now here's a schedule you can follow. Day 1, shampoo and conditioner. Day 2, conditioner. Day 3, shampoo and conditioner. Day 4, conditioner. Day 5, conditioner. Day 6, shampoo and conditioner. Day 7, you can do conditioner only. Or step number 3, you can use a hair mask. Using a hair mask for once a week. So, what does a hair mask do? It helps in dip conditioning the hair. It penetrates the hair cuticle, making it healthy from the inside. This repairing hair mask from Mori is actually a thick one and it smells so good. Scoop a good amount of the hair mask and apply it on your hair shaft. The excess one, you can apply it in your scalp area. Remember guys, if you put too much moisture in your scalp, it will create oil, which makes your hair oily. And we don't want that. So after doing this routine, you will see that your hair is not gonna be stiff. Even if my hair is bleached and colored a million times, I still feel that it's soft after using the products and it's extra manageable if you use the hair mask once a week. So if you want to get your own Mori shampoo and conditioner, their website is over here. And you can also get a discount using my code. So I'll be leaving all their links in the description box below and I'll flash it also here in the screen. So that's it for this video. I hope you like it. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave it in the comment box below. And I'll see you next time. Don't forget, smile! There's always a reason to be happy. Bye! Lollipop, lollipop.